the thing about this video is that the energy requirements to produce a wormhole, given our, let's call it the classical understanding of physics, are massive. So massive that it's counterproductive to even try. You'd have to make planetary bodies that you need the mass energy of Jupiter. So when you see something like this and you realize that this is real, then whatever's happening here, maybe they're figured out how to produce the energy of Jupiter, or this is a much lower energy phase transition. We have potentially the ability to amplify energy up. The other way is that we have access to negative energy and negative energy would be the ability to counteract the positive energy requirement. Let's say that we need this much Jupiter positive energy to produce our wormhole. One way is we can amplify energy up. The other way is we can bring down the energy requirement by adding negative energy to the equation. We add our negative energy to the equation, now the requirement starts to come down. Potentially you can bring it down to zero. Either of these scenarios being true, doesn't matter which one the right one is, both of them are free energy.